Hey gang, it's Alisa with XYZ Wellness. And today I wanna to share with you a tip about really showing yourself a little bit of self-care, self-love. And this tip or this habit is about self-massage. So in my program, Journey to an Optimal You, this is one of the habits that we look at and we work on cultivating. Um, and it's a really great way, again, to take care of ourselves. Even if you're you know, getting a massage from somebody else, it's really awesome to be able to um, take care of our own bodies and it's a way of using our own hands for healing. Now, when it comes to self-massage, there are some different things that we can do. We could use oil or we could leave oil completely out of the equation. Now, if you wanna use oil, you might wanna use something like sesame oil or almond oil. Um, during the summer, maybe it would be coconut oil. So it just depends on um, if you want a you know, heating type of effect or a cooling type of effect. And then you might add some essential oils if that's your thing. So maybe some lavender or some cedar wood. Um, those are calming or, you know, those help bring your energy down if you need to, you know, feel a little more soothed um, or getting ready for bed. Um, if it's the morning and you want to feel a little more energized, you might use something with a little more citrus in it. So, you know, with or without oil, that's your option. Um, another thing that you can do is use some, you know, massage gloves like these. Um, there are ones, um, these are have a little bit of texture to them, or you could use silk gloves if you have sensitive skin. Um, another option is to use a massage brush, or you can just use your, your bare hands. So for the, the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just gonna show you, um, you know, how you would use your hands. And for um, different purposes, we might start in different ways. So if you're trying to get more energized, it's first thing in the morning, you would start at your feet and travel towards your the top of your head. Or if it's um, later in the day, you're getting ready for bed or you're feeling a little anxious or stressed out and you wanna ground your energy, then we'd start at the crown of the head and make our way down towards our feet. So that's what we're gonna do right now is just start um, at the top of the head. And you could just start almost as if you were giving yourself a little bit of um, a shampoo, you know, when you go for a haircut and sometimes you get that really good shampoo where they, you know, use their fingertips and you notice the, the different places you're feeling a little tight or tense. And you can start first just by rubbing around and noticing, you know, the different bumps and grooves in your scalp. And then maybe start at the base of the skull towards the neck and let the fingertips travel towards the ears, you know, all the way up. And I'm just going to, you know, do it really briefly, but you might um, do this a little bit longer, maybe pausing and, and exploring these different options a little longer. And it's really nice to cross the forehead and even the, the temples, the temples most of us know. We could do our ears, around the cheeks, up through the jaw, and then we'll come back to the neck. So this one is one of my favorites, and you could stay here just as long as you'd like. And really, you know, again, almost as if you were getting a massage, noticing where you're tight. So that's, you know, the upper body or the upper, the top of the head. Now, in general, in one thing I recommend if you're new to self-massage and, you know, maybe it felt okay to do the scalp, but you're like, I don't know about the rest of this, you can just start with patting down. So you could give yourself a little, you know, patting around your arms and your legs and your hips and just noticing maybe around your kidneys. And that's, a, you know, the, one of the simplest things you can do, like an intro way to start doing your self-massage. Once you're ready to, you know, kind of use your hands a little bit more, then we would do some nice long strokes on the long bones. So our arms and our legs, and then, you know, for our, our joints, like our elbows and our knees, we'll do a circular motion. And I'm just doing this over my shirt. You could do this before you get ready to get in the shower. And then we go towards the, the lymph nodes, so towards the armpits. And then for our stomach, we'll go in a circular motion to stimulate our digestion. So we're going in the direction of our intestines. And then we'll go to the legs again. Nice long strokes for the, the long bones of the legs, your femur, your tibia. And when we get to the knees, we'll do those circles again. And then we get all the way down to our feet. Then you can really have some fun. Get in, massage those different areas. Notice again, our feet hold a lot of tightness. And I skipped our hands, so you might want to come back to your hands. But I do hope you enjoyed this and get to play around with this a little bit more. 